After 9-11, New York City had to find new ways to fight global terror. The New York Police Department created a counter-terrorism program, and one of its first moves was to dispatch a top detective to Israel. His name? Mordecai Jakansky. The media line's Felice Friedson spoke with him. Morty, what did you hope to accomplish? First and foremost, uh, Israel had become the laboratory for urban terrorism back then. It wasn't a military zone. It was a place where people were living their life day in and day out with some sense of normalcy, but yet in a constant state of terror. So I was to learn from the best, the Israelis who had learned to interact with it, uh, how to handle it, and most importantly, how to prevent it. The whole idea was not to recover from a terror act, was not to rescue people, was to prevent terror. Reading the accounts of the 21 suicide bombing sites that you visited, one gets a sense of a methodical mapping of events. Was this your intent? Every single time, I think I got more uh, intimate with the location, and different questions would come up in each case. Why a bus, and why not a restaurant? Uh, did the bomber have a history at this specific location? Did he, was he familiar with it because he had worked there or had family that worked there or just was given some sort of inside information? Why? So never to just accept the fact that only the bomber died or that 25 people were killed. So each time I would look for a different nuance to add to New York's arsenal that we would have as much information as far as suicide bombing was concerned. Morty, why was it important for you to be on the scene and relay in real time your accounts back to the NYPD? I think the immediacy, terrorism is something that has to be dealt with immediately. It's not something that could be put on the shelf. It's not something that could be planned. It's something that you have to react right now. What are the common denominators that you found with the terror attacks? Casualties, casualties, casualties. The main uh, the main purpose of the terrorist was to kill as many people as possible. You know, we used to think here at least that uh, you know, it was location, that it was symbolic, it was, had different issues. They wanted the numbers. And if they couldn't go to one place, they would go to someplace else. The main thing was killing as many people as possible. Morty, how are the United States and Israel connected by these attacks? 9-11 and the suicide bombings and terror attacks that have happened here. Uh, we're facing the same enemy. It's radical Islam. And uh, I think in terms of really the whole Western world is, is facing this evil demon. And uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a bond that we share to learn from each other and also to protect each other and to uh, cooperate and work as closely as we can when it comes to these issues. Morty, you've just written a book, Terrorist Cop, with co-author Robert Slater. In it, you speak of various American symbols at several of the terrorist bombing sites. Do you think that the terrorist was trying to send a message to the United States through these different visuals? Absolutely. I, I mean, uh, from the note that was found at a high first suicide bombing on a bus that made reference to 9-11. Listen, you would think this is the Obama's most important day of his entire life. Although it's his last day, it's his most important day. So he's going to put as much thought into what he wears, what he does, where he does it, and it's the same exact hate. I, I mean, they share exactly uh, whether they killed five Americans or five Israelis. It's five dead, and that's what they want. In the last several years, to what do you attribute the decline in suicide attacks? In Israel, uh, three main things. You need defense, military taking the fight to them, not waiting for them to come to you, and third is great intelligence. Thank you, Morty. This is Felice Friedson reporting for the Media Line.